friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget. And my last one of my Christmas looks for this year, um, being joined by a lovely friend. Today I am I asked I asked Patricia to join me from Finding My Tiara. What an absolutely fabulous name for a channel. I wish I thought of that first. <laughs> Finding my tiara, I love that name. Um but I love Patricia again for the reason of her honesty. I love that she says it as it is, you know, down the line. She never says that she likes something if she doesn't. Um, I like her reviews. I like, I love the sample stashes she does. I love that. I love that because I want to do more of those sample um, videos myself in the new year. Um, and I enjoy her channel immensely. But Patricia has had a rotten year. She has had a rotten year. Um, she's got over it and she's great now and things. But you know when someone champions on and carries on, then you can only imagine what they're, they're feeling off camera. Um, and she's done that. Patricia's completely done that this year. And I really admire her for that. Um, and what she's been through, she's come out the other end. Thank God she's come out the other end. But there's so many times, and I'm sure you, you watch channels like this too, guys, or friends, and you just think, I wish I could come through and give you a big hug. Because there was times this year when, you know, Patricia, although it has a lovely family, um, there's times when I would like to have given Patricia a big hug. So she kindly offered to do this with me today. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you so much. I love her looks. I do. I love... It's very clever with makeup, and I, I love her looks very, very much. So finding my tiara, fantastic name, and Patricia, and I will link her channel below. So please go over and see um, Patricia's channel and give her one of those virtual hugs. Thank you, guys. Now then, my look for today is rust. I love rust. I love these warm, fiery shades, um, particularly in the winter. I've gone a little bit bolder today and done something just a little bit bolder, but I love this look. Um, I'm so comfortable in rust. I think the thing with me is, with any look really, is coordinating everything. It's not exactly the same, but I like to see things coordinated. So when I'm using certain palettes or certain, I know what I want to put with it. I know how I feel comfortable with it and whatever clothes I'm wearing. So today I've got um, a fluffy a zebra print jumper on basically and it's got a lot of rust and I've got the black earrings on to match the black I just like everything to sort of flow together <laughs> so I hope you like this look let's have a look how I did it okay my friends so let's start as I said I love creating rust looks and I love that I think it I think it is my favorite um, that's it, I'm using the Reloaded palette from, look, you can see it all in my garden. <laughs> Use the Reloaded palette from uh, Makeup Revolution. And this is Iconic Fever. And I'm going to take the second one along. And I'm just going to put that all over my brow. Down the side, down the middle, there, and all over my lid, so we've got a nice base, as I normally do. I love these colours, I really love these colours, guys. This is definitely a standalone palette for me. it down the middle that's that one now the next one I'm going to take let me see I'm going to take the one here this color 
They don't list the colours, that's the thing. You haven't got to use this palette. I'm just sort of saying what type of look I like, you know, and and how I feel it fits in with the Christmas theme. Although I would wear this look any time, really, guys, to be honest with you. Uh, the Reloaded palettes are gorgeous. The consistency of, of them. I mean, I'm a Revolution fan anyway, guys, you know that. But by far the best palettes, probably for me by far the best high street palettes are the Reloaded palettes for well, um, wearability and ease of application. Uh, they blend everything. I love the Reloaded palettes. So we just go to the first bit as we always do. And a big blending brush. So this is my last one for this year. I love doing these videos, guys. Um, it's just, although I do collabs during the, the year with my lovely friends, I just think it's a, a an opportunity, you know, to say thank you to some people as well. And it's so hard when you're growing, guys. It is, it's really hard. And, you know, you put so much work into it and... You don't get out there enough. It, 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 you know, you just think to yourself, well, what have I done? Why am I not growing? Um, and not that people ma the amount matters to me or the, the numbers matter to me. But, you know, I've been helped too. I've been helped by some much bigger YouTubers. And I, I'm so grateful for that. It's just, although I'm not big, it's just kind of my way of... of giving back I suppose and I do it this time of year and I never mention anybody that I would never watch myself or enjoy myself and the next one is the second from bottom one here uh you see this one here guys and we're putting this but just a little closer nothing unusual but I do, do you see how lovely those palettes are they're just lay absolutely beautifully so easy that one and this one here and Explain that. How would you put your year, guys? How would you say your year has been? Lots has happened to me this year. Lots and lots. Um, I've had lots of new experiences. Obviously, my trip to America comes way up on that list. Um, I've met some lovely people, really lovely, and I've made memories that will. Warm my heart forever, and I truly, truly mean that. They, they really have. I've met more of you guys, and you know, a privilege for more of you to follow me. And and I do think it's a privilege. I really do think it's a privilege because, you know, I'm just a, just an everyday housewife who loves makeup, and, you know, sits in this little room and works out what she can do and what you might like to see and I love I love it I do I really love it and I'm so appreciative of you and I wanted to say and it's a big I really wanted to put over because this has worried me now I'm getting a pencil brush and I'm going in with this darker one here which is this is really, really uh, rust. Still matte though. And this one, we're just going to concentrate on the outer V. Um, it's been worrying me a bit. Uh, then after my holiday and during my holiday and 
with the children and things that have happened and things happen in everybody's life don't they not things that you know I, I, I want to go into or don't happen to everybody but everybody has their ups and downs in life and has things to deal with don't they because that's life life itself isn't it and I've had a few things to deal with and um not health necessarily my health is sort of They've got me on decent medication now. Well, medication that suits me. So my health has been quite good, you know, plodding along. But things happen in situations in life that um, sometimes get the better of us, don't they? And, and it's life. It ha it's happened to every one of you. I know that. Every single one of you. Um, but I'm a great warrior. I'm a great warrior. And... Sometimes things take up time when you you know you're concerned, trying to sort things out, trying to rearrange things, you know. Um, and I haven't, I haven't had the time um, to reply to your comments the way that I usually do. I've read everyone, um, and I've liked and hearted everyone. If I like it. <laughs> I usually do, 99% of the time I do. Um, but I haven't had the time. Because of just things, just life getting in the way. And it's something I don't want to do next year. I don't want to let that happen because YouTube is incredibly important to me. Incredibly important. And you guys are just... I'm so scared that I'd let you down, you know. Um, but please don't think I'm just thinking, oh, I don't need to answer or anything like that because I love writing back to you and I love what we have between us. But it's just been, it's just been one of those months. Okay, so we all have them, don't we? Oh, now I'm taking the same one again. And I'm going underneath, right near to the lashes. Very similar routine. What I'd say was my usual kind of routine. Underneath, near the lashes. And up. Like this one. And just make sure that that's... A little bit darker because a bit more intense because this is kind of a look I would certainly wear this for Christmas um, because if I was doing this on a, a daily basis an everyday look I would use a mat on my lid something like this on my lid and that would be that because the colour would be enough but I'm going to add a, a little extra something because it's Christmas but let's make sure that's well, because that's the part we need the well dark. We know we keep that up, up, up. Like that. Let's blend that. And blend this side. That's that. And then I'm going to make sure there isn't any fallout with my sponges, I always do. It's just what's left over from when I put my makeup on. I've always put my base on, guys, for these looks, otherwise it would go on a long time. Um, and I always list um, the base in, in notes below, so you, if you, you, you're you interested in what I've got on, it's always down there for you. That's that one. Then I'm going to take this one here which is the third run along put a little bit on the brush and then I'm just going to filter the outer edge with it just a little filter around the outer edge so that we've got it all nicely flowing into each other with the big fluffy brush again the one that I put the base on with around that one. I don't tend to highlight my brow too much now. I used to. I think 
it was more sort of fashionable back then, wasn't it? We always put a highlighter on here. Um, but I don't do it now. It's not done so much now, but also shows up too many um, naughty bits. <laughs> so that's that. That's it. And next I am going to take another palette. As I said, normally I would use another palette. It definitely is a standalone palette and I would use another palette. But because I want to sort of make it a bit um, more vampy for Christmas, I will show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take more eye primer. This is Milani's eye primer, which is one we all know and love, isn't it? And I'm going to put this onto my lid very softly here. I like this one, guys. I think it's popular with all of us, this one, isn't it? And just coming into the corner, right into that corner, but two thirds of the way. That's that. Bit the other side. Why do we pull funny faces with our mouths? The funniest one is mascara. <laughs> pull funny faces when we put mascara. That's it. Make sure that's... I know I say this again and again. I'll probably drive you nuts. But make sure that anything you're going to put on that's got a bit of shine to it doesn't go further than that line. Well, if you've got the eyes can take it, you can do it, but these eyes definitely can't. <laughs> That's that. And then finally, I am going to take, let's wipe this one off. Because I like that little pack of brush from my eyes. You know when you get a brush and it works for what you want to do? It's not necessarily meant for that, but it just kind of works for what you want to do. So this is the, is I think it's the Pro Palette 1. A uh, Pity Pro 1. Pity Pro 1. This is a Vizart palette. And this is one that I got in the US and I use for very special occasions. Although you could use it as an everyday palette because you've got your basics there for your everyday basic look. And then you've got your proper colours up there. So you could certainly use it as an everyday palette. And I'm going to use the one that's here. That's the real rosy gold rusty one. And I'm going to put some of that on my brush. And then I'm going to just pack that on top of... of my primer. Pack it like this. Corner. Just three quarters of the way. Definitely no higher than that. And then I'm just going to work that gently with my finger. But I am just tapping and I'm not even making... Uh, can you see my eyelids not going in at all? I am literally feather touching it and tapping it just all around like this which is what I tend to do with any brush that has a uh, any uh, shadow that has a shimmer to it and then I'm going to do the same the other side these are lovely palettes guys for me they're, they're a special occasion palette I keep this if I'm doing something you know I tend to stick to my high street palettes. But then again, I, I want to use it up before it, you know, it wears out. I don't want to keep it past the sell by day. Some of these are, are lovely as well. You know, the, the this one in the, the summer is lovely on the lid. And I love it if you're doing a lilac look. I'll do a lilac look for you with it in the new year. And back to the little taps on the lid. That's it. 
guys. She's nice and warm. That one. And then I'm going to take a little pencil brush like this and go back to the um, Revolution palette. And I'm going to go in with this dark one down here. Actually, I'll use this one. This dark one here. And I'm just going to put that on. And then this just goes in the outer V, nowhere else. So we don't want to blend it anywhere else. We just want to put this in the outer V. Just the V. Make sure it's going up. But a very little bit. You see, I'm not putting it on the lid at all. Just that V. And then we want to get a smaller blending brush. Because it's... it's I always tend to... I love blending. You know I love blending with my big brush. But if I'm going to do this this particular part of my makeup look, the the bigger brush would be too, would spread it too much. And this I just do with a soft. I don't know what this one is, honestly, guys. I don't. It's um. Oh wait, my brush. There it goes. But a, a tighter little blender. We just wanna go in circular motions. Blending but in circular motions. So we're just keeping it there. That's it. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just the V. And this. rain coming again. We've really had some rain here. Like that. Making sure it's even. And then I'm going to go round again. And a good idea guys. If you're doing a look Especially if you're doing a really uh, a bolder look, is I'm going to swap my mirror over to my ten times mirror. Now, as soon as I look at this, I go yoiks. But remember that you're just doing it to perfect, or as perfect as we can do as everyday guys, um, your look. People are not going to look at you ten times magnified. You know, you're just doing it to make sure that you've got, you see, I can see a little patch here. There's a little bit of fallout. And I would never have seen that as I've not turned it over. So when you do the, the 10 times, although it's, it's it scares me, my eyes scare me every morning when I do this, but... It does assure that your look is, is neat. Okay, so that's as much shadow as I'm doing. As always, I'm going to go and do my brows and I will be back. Okay, guys, so off camera, I've just done my brows and my mascara and eyeliner. Because it's the same every day and I'm sure you don't want to keep watching me repeat that. Um, so the next thing I do is concentrate on the face and you know I'm more of a liking to keep it all in a theme so I'm starting with my Milani I will list everything below this is a very very subtle bronzer very subtle bronzer it's uh, more subtle than the butter bronzer I would say in my opinion and I'm going to put that round you can see, very subtle, but I just like it. I mean, a lot would say it's hardly there, and it isn't. But, you know, sometimes that's what I'm looking for, hardly there. <laughs> and usual places, guys. 
So this is the last look for this year. It just seems like yesterday I was doing the ones last year. This year's gone by very, very quickly. Very quickly. And as I said, good times, bad times, like everybody else is here. My grandchildren growing up very quickly. I'm getting older very quickly. <laughs> we won't go down there. <coughs> That's it. With bronzer and contour shaping, I'd rather go thin, a thinner consistency, and build it up to how I'd like the shape to be, as opposed to something that's really got to be blended for ages. Because it's, you know, it's so pigmented. Some things you don't want particularly overly pigmented. And the next thing I am going to do is a blush. And it's my favourite all-time blush that goes with so many things. And I love it with the rust look, but then I often want it with a pinkier, warmer pink look as well. And this is Nars Orgasm. And this is the one, one of the ones that I wouldn't wear a highlight with because it's already got the highlight in it. So turn our cheeks aside. Start with this because we want the darkest colour at the top. And again, we just want to slowly build up until we get the intensity we want. Again, if it's an evening look, maybe a bit more. But you can see that it's got enough of the glow there that I personally wouldn't put a highlight on with this. I'm taking a tiny bit at a time um, because if I'm going out, I really want it to be, you know, as it should be and not have to, you know, make mistakes and hours blending and so forth and or take it off and start again, even worse. Put that one there. I love this. It just gives such... I love this blush. I can't, this has got to be my favourite brush for years. That's it. And that's that one. And then when I've done that, I get one final bigger soft brush. This is a wet and wild one that I love. And... Like this. Round, making sure all oh, we're all blended. So no highlight. I won't put highlight on with this. And the last thing is our lips. <clears throat> so I'll list all the colours below. As you, um, below, as you know, I, uh, I can't see a thing, <laughs> but I do know that this is a Revlon one. This is a lip liner, and it's the. It themes in with the shades that I'm using. I don't know if it's just me, but when I sharpen pencils, you know, the, the type that have to be sharpened, I always make a mess. And the bits of wood or the bits of um, whatever it is made of, always make a mess. I, I think it's just me. <laughs> I just think these are so more... Convenient. Around the edge and a little bit of spilling in. It's funny with lip liners, uh, to me, it's funny with lip liners because if they're too soft, too creamy, they don't do the job for me because they just melt in with lipstick and do the same thing a lipstick would do. Or they're too hard and they drag your lips. So what I do, put a little bit of time and I don't... Because this is not the softest of lip liners, but it's very precise. I'm just tapping that in till I get that colour. And then I'm using a lipstick by MUA. And this is one that, if I'm wearing this palette, I tend to go towards this lipstick. 
it's a frosty lipstick, but it's not heavily frosted. And it's certainly not gritty frosted, but it's one that I've used many times and I like this lipstick very much, so. That's my completed look for today. I'm going to get dressed. Okay guys, so probably one of my favourite looks. Um, it comes out every year um, and all during the season. I like it very, very much. And actually, if I'm wearing a rusty dress in the summer, I'll bring it out. I just love this kind of rusty look. So I hope you've enjoyed it too, guys. And thank you so much for watching these videos this week. I've so enjoyed doing it. And three lovely ladies that have, um, I really feel, you know, privileged that they've agreed to work with me. Um, and uh, again, smaller channels and, you know, a little bit of support and my way of giving back and, and thanking you for always supporting me, guys. So I will see you again really soon in my next video, which will be next week. Um, and I might have my husband with me. I'll see you next week. Bye.